Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here, your source for gaming, tech, news, and reviews. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to activate cheats for RetroArch on Android. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, this works for both RetroArch and RetroArch 64. So if you have either version, you're in luck. So here's what the main screen of RetroArch looks like. I have the exact same screen right here on my phone. At this point, what you want to do is go to Online Updater. Once you've clicked on Online Updater, scroll down to where it says Update Cheats. The next step is to click on Update Cheats. And what the program is going to do is download and extract all the cheat files you need. So it might take a bit of time depending on your internet speed, but once it's done, it'll let you know. Once that's all done, just boot up your game like you normally would. Once the game starts running, pause the game. Once the game's paused, you should be on the quick menu. From here, scroll down to where you see cheats and click on it. Once you're on the cheats menu, scroll down to where you see auto apply cheats during startup and apply after toggle. Turning these on is optional, but I do recommend it. From there, scroll back up to the top and click on load cheat file. From here, what you want to do is select the game system that you are emulating. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be selecting Nintendo Game Boy Color. From here, scroll down to where your game is located. Make sure you select the right game because there are different versions of the game. So I'm going to be selecting Street Fighter Alpha Warrior's Dreams USA. That's the game I'm using in this example. Is it a good game? No, not at all, but I really like it. Once you've selected your game, it should bring you back to this cheats menu. From here, just scroll down a little bit and you should see your cheats automatically loaded. They are all off by default, so you will have to enable whatever cheat you want to use. For this video, I'm going to select Player One Infinite Health. From here, all you have to do once you click on the cheat is just click the button where it says Enabled. This will turn on the cheat. From here, click the back button, and then the next button you want to select is Apply Changes once you've enabled all of your cheats. This will automatically enable the cheats for your game. You can go right back into your game. So here's my game back up and running. You can see once guy attacks me, my health will remain full because the cheat's working. I do recommend enabling one cheat at a time and seeing how it works. Sometimes cheats do conflict a little bit and might not work as intended. If the cheats don't work altogether, I would recommend trying a different core out and seeing if that helps. Anyways, that is all I have for today. So let me know what you think about these cheats in the comments below. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and pretty easy. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you everyone. Take care.